The Great is one of the most amazing series I've ever watched and somehow it changed the way I look at things. Hey so guys, my name is Ellen Fox, welcome to my channel and I did say that I would have braids for the next 10 videos but I had completely forgotten that I got these headbands. I saw them today and I was like, okay, it's, it's about time we start using them. So braids are gone, headbands on and let's talk about today's trailer. We have The Great Season 2 trailer and I'm, I'm a big fan of The Great because it's based on Catherine the Great, firstly, who is one of the most amazing ladies to walk the face of Earth. Was. She's dead. <laughs> and they casted Elle Fanning to play her. Elle is just as talented as she is beautiful and the series really hilarious. And then they have Nicholas Holt playing Peter the Third. I grew up hating Peter the Third. I cannot stand him. I just can't. Every time we read about him in history or I saw him in another series, can't stand him. But every time I see Nicholas as Peter, I'm like, he's gonna be assassinated. And it physically hurts me when I think about that. Like, ever since I've started watching The Great, I've become Team Peter. Somebody do something to me. I bless our new leader, Catherine the Great. You're calling yourself the Great? Of course. Seems arrogant. It is if you're not great. If you are, it is just calling things what they are. Right. Shh. Darling girl, there is a rumor sweeping Europe that you have taken Russia from your husband. You're my wife. You honestly can't think you can run Russia without bloodshed. I can. I'm winning. I love that you think that. He is a threat. I really, really want to kill him. Reason and compassion can win any argument better than violence. Let's just behead him like civilized men. We must act. Let us remake Russia, my friend. Everyone expects you to only last a year. I'm safe until the baby is born. It must be strange, a human creature inside you. Do you ever think, what if he has a knife? I never do. Hmm. This is a dynasty. If she loves you, you'll make more babies and protect the family line. You must make her love you. Should we have sex? I'd rather choke to death on this tiny chicken. I have been trying to change myself. When you are flawless. Exactly. It's time I regain the throne. And then you kill her. Imprisoned until Paul is born. You're a good dad. You're not long for the throne. I'm chosen by God. You were chosen by male order. Ponder that. I have a busy day running Russia, the country I just took from you. Go get him! She loves me, that is certain. You're sure? I look at you and go dry like sand. <laughs> See, he's just so hilarious. How can you not like him? I bless our new leader, Catherine the Great. Starting up, Al's costume with the crown and the pearls and she's all in gold. It, the, the costumes are so beautiful. They are really extravagant and over the top. Um, I don't um, exactly know what was going on back in the day, having not been there. So I don't know if this is historically correct or not, but I am loving it. All of them are so full, like full of jewelry and the hair. Is that a braid? Okay, I'm not a fan of the braid and that seem, like kind of wig cap going on situation. I'm not a big fan of that. But apart from that, what is wrong with my vocabulary? What is wrong with my sentence building? Apart from the braid and the wig cap sort of situation, I love this entire look. You're calling yourself the great? Of course. Seems arrogant. It is if you're not great. If you are, it is just calling things what they are. I just love when people have titles. It gives you like the basic idea of who they were, especially like when the Ottomans were giving their emperors titles, they were really creative. Like some people were like basic stuff, like, you know, the magnificent and the conqueror, but others were like the stupid, the mad king, the blonde, like really. <laughs> You honestly can't think you can run Russia without bloodshed. I can. I'm winning. I love that you think that. You can't. My dear darling Catherine, you really can't. Do you honestly think you're going to take Russia from your husband and he's just going to sit around or present Russia to you over a platter? No. 
If you want to survive, you must spill blood or it's your blood that will be spilled. The most noble of monarchs have had to spill blood. People have had to kill their siblings, their children, their parents, their best friends, random people on the street in order to survive. Even in modern politics, you have to kill. I mean, we don't know about the people that the politicians have killed, but I know a couple of people who have killed people. So I do know that murdering still takes place. You don't think all these murder documentaries are going on for nothing. Obviously, murder sometimes killing someone is the only way for your own survival. And your child, you have a child, remember that. So a simple drop of poison might be your end. So go ahead and crush your husband's head. He's a threat. I really, really want to kill him. Reason and compassion can win any argument better than violence. Let's just behead him like civilized men. Yeah, they can um, if the person in front of you is not illiterate. You honestly think that Peter will understand words? I mean, he is a fan of science, but not really a man of words. So I think like civilized people, it is best to just behead him. This is science. Enjoy. <laughs> Everyone expects you to only last a year. I'm safe until the baby is born. You do know that babies take less than a year to be born. So you're not even gonna survive for a year. Let's just kill Peter. <laughs> God, they're so funny. It must be strange, a human creature inside you. Do you ever think, what if he has a knife? I never do. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't think that either because the Paul they chose for Catherine, um, the Russian series, was the most adorable little baby I've ever came across. He's just so cute. Also, um, wouldn't it be amazing if a baby has like a knife? <laughs> The baby comes with its own knife to, you know, cut the placenta. That would be pretty, pretty cool and pretty convenient. This is a dynasty. If she loves you, you will make more babies and protect the family line. You must make her love you. Should we have sex? I'd rather choke to death on this tiny chicken. Did my man watch Ash 101? Because they also seem to believe that love and sex are the same thing. His eyes are so blue, he's so pretty. I have been trying to change myself. When you are flawless. Exactly. See, she honestly thinks she can reason with a man who thinks he is flawless. Well, you know, if you, if you look at the outsides, he does seem pretty flawless. It's time I regain the throne. And then you kill her. Imprisoned until Paul is born. You're a good dad. Most definitely, the best dad. Like, I think we should give him a cup. I actually made a cup for my mom once. It said, world's best mother. So I think he deserves one of those as well. <laughs> um, the whole thing about imprisoning her until Paul is born and then beheading her? What's the plan? It's just like, have an early delivery. You can always do that. That's always an option. You don't have to wait nine months. I think eight will be fine. You're not long for the throne. I'm chosen by God. You were chosen by male order. Ponder that. Oh, have the Turks made some really bad decisions because of that? Because the ancestor used to believe that monarchs, emperors, were chosen by God. Out of all these brothers, he chose this fella. So, you know, it's like kind of, it was a belief that the emperors must be respected and obeyed no matter what. Unless, you know, things get completely out of hand and you know that you're going to go bankrupt if you continue to obey this person. Unless things go that badly, you continue respecting the person and obeying him. And I think that's a great thing because it really unites the land because you all have this just one purpose and this one person that you're following. With every other country, there are so many people to follow that you're like, okay, what the heck is even going on? Don't get him! And finally comes in the bloodshed. She just had to. And it's like really terrifying how she's just walking around and riding horses with when she's that pregnant. Are you not scared, my lady? Oh, my queen. It's okay. 
I mean, after all, love and sex aren't the same thing. You can love someone and just not really be tempted to be with them. I cannot wait for this. They're not giving us a date. When is this coming out? We need a date. Come on. So that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like. And I really surprised myself. I did not spoke in Peter's defense, I think, more than twice. That's progress. But then again, I am the person who has never let her emotions sidetrack her or blind her from saying the right thing. So thank God I'm not blind. I've like sometimes tried to fall in love with things or people blindly, but it just never happens. Like I've literally tried and literally prayed to God, like, please, can I for once fall blindly in love and it just never happens. So here we are. Subscribe, click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload and also check out my comedy channel as well as my edits channel. And I think I want to make an edit of these two. They're so adorable. <laughs> so make sure you go and check both of those out as well as my Instagram, it's at Elena Fodesco Fox. And I'll hopefully catch you in the next video. I'm the only on the Fox and Swirls. And let me know what's your favorite Al Fanning movie and Nicholas Holt as well. For me, it is Maleficent, Mistress of Evil and... Nicholas has done really great stuff. There's um, Warm Bodies and there was this other series, what's it called, Skins? It's something like that and it's, it's just hilarious. So yeah, um, let me know yours and bye.